a world without black people. This is a story of a little boy named Theo who woke up one morning and asked his mother, Mom, what if there were no black people in the world? Well, his mother thought about it for a moment and said, Son, follow me around today and let's see just what it would be like if there were no black people in the world. Mom said, Now go get dressed and we will go get started. Theo ran to his room to put on his clothes and shoes. His mom took one look at him and said, Theo, where are your shoes? And those clothes are all wrinkled, son. I got to iron those. However, when she reached for the ironing board, it was no longer there. You see, Sarah Boone, a black woman, invented the ironing board. And Jan E. Maslinger, a black man, invented the shoe lasting machine. Oh, well, she said, please go and do something to your hair. Theo ran to his room to comb his hair, but the comb was not there. Walter Salmon's a black man invented the comb. Theo decided, well, I'll just brush my hair, but the brush was gone. You see, Lydia O. Newman, a black woman, invented the brush. Well, this was a sight to see. No shoes, wrinkled clothes, hair a mess, even mom's hair. <laughs> Without the hair inventions of Madam C.J. Walker, well, <laughs> you get the picture. Mom told Theo, let's do our chores around the house, and then we'll take a trip to the grocery store. Theo's job was to sweep the floor. He swept, and swept, and he swept. But when he reached for the dustpan, it was missing because Lloyd P. Ray, a black man, invented the dustpan. So he just swept his pile of dirt in over in the corner and left it there and decided to just mop the floor. But the mop was gone. Thomas W. Stewart, a black man, invented the mop. Theo yelled to his mom, Mom, I'm not having any luck. Well, son, she said, let me finish washing these clothes and we'll prepare a list for the grocery store. When the wash finished, she placed the clothes in the dryer, uh, but it wasn't there. George T. Salmon, a black man, invented the clothes dryer. Mom asked Theo to go get a pencil and some paper to prepare a list for the supermarket. So Theo ran for the paper and pencil, but noticed the pencil lead was broken. Well, he was out of luck because John Love, a black man, invented the pencil sharpener. Mom reached for a pen, but she too was out of luck because William Purvis, a black man, invented the fountain pen. As a matter of fact, it was Lee Burridge who invented the typewriting machine and W.A. Lovett, the advanced printing press. Theo and his mother decided to just head out to the market. Well, then Theo opened the door. He noticed the grass was as high as he was tall. That's because John Burr, a black man, invented the lawnmower. So they fought their way through and made their way over to the car. Once they got there, they found out it just wouldn't go. And that's because Richard Spikes, a black man, invented the automatic gear ship. And Mr. Joseph Gamble invented the supercharging system for internal combustion engines. They also noticed that the few cars that were moving were running into each other and having wrecks all over the place because there were no traffic signals. That's because Garrett A. Morgan, a black man, invented the traffic light. Well, it was getting late, so they decided to walk to the market. They got their groceries and returned home. Just when they were about to put away the milk, the eggs, and the butter, they noticed uh, the refrigerator was missing. You see, John Standard, a black man, invented the refrigerator. So, they just left the food on the counter. By this time, Theo noticed he was getting mighty cold. Mom went to go turn up the heat. And what do you know? Alice Parker, a black woman, invented the heating furnace. Even in the summertime, they would have still been out of luck because Frederick Jones, a black man, invented the air conditioner system. It was almost time for Theo's father to arrive home. He usually takes the bus, but there was no bus today because his precursor was the electric trolley, which was also invented by another black man, Albert R. Robinson. He usually takes his elevator from the office on the 20th floor, but there was no elevator today. Alexander Miles, a black man, invented the elevator. He also usually dropped off the office mail at a nearby mailbox. But that was no longer there because Philip Downing, a black man, invented the letter drop mailbox and Mr. William Barry invented the postmarking and counseling machine. Theo and his mother sat at the kitchen table with their hands in their head. With the father, when he finally arrived, he said, why are you all sitting in the dark? Why? Because Lord Howard Latimer, a black man, invented the filament within the electric light bulb. Theo quickly learned more about what it would be like if there were no black people in the world, especially if he were to ever get sick and needed blood. Dr. Charles Drew, a black scientist, found a way to preserve and store blood, which led to him starting the world's very first blood bank. Well, what if a family member had to have heart surgery? 
This would not have been possible without Dr. Daniel Hale Williams, a black doctor who performed the very first open heart surgery. So, if you ever wonder, just like Theo, where would we be without black people? Well, it's pretty plain to see. We will still be in the dark. Look where God has brought us from, you hope church family. This has been your moment in Black History. From your voice of hope.